All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually track the clicking of a download in Go High Level. So here we are in our client connector version of Go High Level, and we're doing this for our client in here. So they want to be able to track if somebody clicks to download a PDF presentation. So we've gone ahead in our file management, went into the media side, we're just gonna upload that presentation file to our Go High Level account. Uh, so it's in here, so we just wanna make sure it's in here. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna click on it here, and then when you click on it, you get this little link icon on the top, we're gonna click that to the clipboard because that is the link to that file, okay? So once we have that, we're gonna come back out here, uh, and then we're gonna come, I'm just gonna move my recording window out of the way here, I'm gonna move it to the screen. Um, we're gonna come back. Now, we're gonna go in to the marketing side and we're gonna create a trigger link. All right, so we're gonna go in here, we're gonna say add trigger link, and we're gonna put in that URL. That's the URL for the document, and we are going to say uh, what this is. So this is presentation, elevate your business. Uh, and it's key to make sure that you name this because it's gonna show up in other things throughout the application. So we're gonna save that trigger link uh, within the system. So it takes a second and then it shows up. Now how Go High Level works is it tracks anyone who clicks the link that we put in here as a trigger link, okay? Now let's go in to the automation that we're gonna send this. Now we can't do this uh, essentially with a broadcast, we're gonna do it within the workflows. So I'm gonna go into the workflow that I'm working on here and I'm gonna name it, so uh, presentation, send, and I'm gonna say elevate, oh, Okay, so the way the client is asked to just leave this blank, they're gonna go ahead and write the email, but we're gonna put all the automation in place. So we're gonna send the email here, um, and then what we're gonna do is put here the name. I'm just gonna merge this in for the sake of this. Um, here is the presentation. There it is. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna merge in up here, and we're gonna go down, come out of contacts, and we're gonna come down to find here, let's just search for it. Not there, ha, huh. next one. There we go, trigger links. Uh, I thought it was in this one. So we're gonna click on the little lightning bolt and there it is. So boom, it'll put that link in. It's not gonna look like this when they get it, it's gonna say presentation um, as well. So we're gonna save that. Oh, we're gonna give it a title, uh, download. So now that's in here. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to then put a weight in here. Now this is where you won't commonly think to look here for this. So we're gonna wait. Now we're not gonna wait a time delay. We're gonna wait for a trigger link click. So under the CRM events, trigger link click here. So we're gonna select that trigger link click there. Now there's an option for timeout, which means that you can set a period of time that it will wait for them to click on it, and if they don't, then it will advance them. In this case, because we're just tracking this single campaign where we're sending out an email and we want to see and label anyone who does it, we're gonna keep the timeout turned off. We're gonna save that. Now, um, what we're gonna do next is we are going to add a tag. So we're gonna say um, downloaded business presentation. And we are going to add that tag, just like that. So now this is essentially set up in its basic form. So we would drop anyone into this automated workflow, they'll get the email and if they click the link, then it's gonna advance them and apply the tag. If they never click the link, they're just gonna stay within this automation here. Okay, so that's, that's what um, is, is going to happen. So think about how you can use that in your campaigns, but uh, essentially you're going to be building out certain workflows for these one-off type things. Hopefully down the road, uh, Go High Level will have the function that will be able to say, okay, if they click this link, then apply a tag 
to them, uh, which is common in other CRMs uh, out there. But in this case, this will do what you need it to do.